Hi gang, Rob here, coming to you with another product overview for CollectorKnives.net The Online Knife Emporium of One Mike Latham from Sulphur, Oklahoma Today we are looking at a pretty special offering from our friends at Lion Steel in Maniago, Italy This is the SR2 This particular model is the SR2 DRG so that would be the small SR number two in Damascus raindrop gray handle yes this is one luxurious little knife and it's beautiful milled wood container with wrench for pivot and pocket clip screw. Oh guys, check this baby out. It's three and one eighth inch drop point blade with sweeping belly fashion of beautiful Chad Nichols raindrop Damascus steel. Mmm, man. One thing, if you're familiar with the SR series of knives, uh, you're probably aware of is that most of them come uh, with a pretty bulbous, convexly ground edge. So if we're looking at a D2 or Sleipner SR series knife, we don't have a very good factory cutting edge. The Damascus blade, though, See if I can get you a nice macro. Comes with a much better V ground edge, polished at the apex, and quite sharp. I don't think I've ever done this with a Lion Steel SR series knife before, but let's see if it'll cut some Natchez Shooter Supply catalog. My hunch is that it will. And that's not bad, fellas. I bet if I made one nicely lined up and quick, it would rip right through there. Yeah. And frankly, that's kind of a good thing. I think on a Damascus steel knife, because a lot of these are probably going to go in collection cases. And may get traded a little bit. It'd be kind of nice to be able to keep them factory sharp. And most knives are not factory sharp. We have our elegant and super functional reversible tip up lion steel clip that doesn't look quite so short on the smaller version of the SR as it does on the larger one. Some of you guys might like those proportions a little better. Uh, let's review on our most famous of US market lion steels. What we have, uh, it is an integral titanium frame lock knife, meaning the handle is fashioned from one solid piece of 6AL4V titanium, brilliantly, precisely, and artistically milled to fit extremely well in the hand and look great doing it. And by the way, uh, there was some concern when the SR2 series of knives was released with its only four inch handle and this sort of uh, point at the pommel area, whether it would accommodate four fingers. In the saber grip it does, if you look, my pinky, it's point of contact, and I wear a large size glove, guys, is about right here. So it's not right on the point, it's just sort of nicely nestled where it should be. If I go to a hammer grip, I have even more room, because my fingers are you know more perpendicular to the blade. It works well in a draw cut grip. Uh, the finger guard is not digging into the web of my hand and 
this point at the pommel is sort of inconsequential. It maybe just offers a little security. It's, you know, sort of in the fat of the side of my hand. Very good. Works great in a reverse grip, too. For fine work, which you might uh, need for a 3 and an eighth inch bladed high-end carry EDC blade. That works well also. This sort of palm swell in the middle really works well with the uh, middle and ring fingers. Super secure. Lots of power there. It does feature the uh, steel lock bar insert which gives you long wearing lock interface uh, as well as uh, helps to eliminate lock stick which is a problem in some titanium frame locks and this one is just perfect locking up at about what 25-30% uh, it does also feature Lion Steel's roto block which serves as an over travel stop in its disengaged or counterclockwise position if I rotate it clockwise keeps me from disengaging the blade for added security not only is this knife super functional, super smooth, and a wicked cutter, but it's also just one of the best looking small knives you can put in your pocket. And guys, for a small folder, at barely over 3 inches in blade length, uh, it is a bit chunky, but because of this super broad blade, that primary bevel brings us down to a nice thin dimension behind the edge. Great slicer for its chunkiness. Just a super, super little knife. And it's very lefty friendly uh, for a backwards frame lock. For those of you who care, it's a very easy lock bar to cross over with your left thumb and disengage and because the pocket clip is reversible easy carry in the left pocket just a little beauty and if you're price shopping while watching this video you know collectorknives.net has the best line steel prices on the web at least of the production of this video just thought you'd like to have my take on it before putting it in your cart that's all for today my friends grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ and remember the word and this chunk of Chad Nichols Damascus are sharp <laughs>